Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we're going to check out what's going on with this laptop which is making five beeps and this is at the, at the latitude 3532. This laptop is actually working with no problems but I have removed some, some components of the motherboard to recreate this problem. So as you can see here I have removed the battery and I'm going to connect it directly to the power supply. So I'm going to open the laptop and I'm going to press the power button to see what happens. And we can hear beeps. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's beeping five times, then it stops, then it starts to do it again. And this error is due to the fact that something is going on with the CMOS battery. The CMOS battery is the one in charge of storing the passwords uh, for the BIOS, the time. I'm showing you here the lights. It, well, I mean, it's the power lights working. And it's storing the configuration in the BIOS as well. So if that's not working, we have a problem. So now uh, we don't have anything else to do on well, here. I mean, we cannot access. There is no, there is nothing on the mo on, on the screen. It's not showing, not even the Dell logo. So I'm going to disconnect it uh, from the power, and I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to get access to part of the motherboard. So for that, I'm going to use my Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to remove these two screws that this model has. Depending on what Dell model you have, this might be more or less difficult, all right? Here we have the SSD, the RAM, and as you can see, the um, CMOS battery is not present because as I mentioned, I have removed it myself. So uh, the other reason is that for these beeps is maybe you have an old computer and the, the CMOS battery is present, is there physically, but it ran out of power. So that's a problem as well. You're going to have the five beeps if the CMOS battery ran out of power. Okay. So what I'm going, and it needs to be replaced, <laughs> evidently. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put back the original uh, CMOS battery this laptop came with because it's working with no problems. So I'm struggling here to put it back. Um, there is a correct way to do it, but <laughs> I'm not doing it correctly. So in the third try, I'm going to get it right. So it's really easy to put it back, but I don't know what happened to me in those seconds. Okay, once it's, um, when you have put it back or replace it, in the case that you need to replace it, I'm going to put back the cover. You can see here I'm putting back, putting back the screws and we're going to turn over the computer one more time. We're going to open it. Uh, we're going well, we're going to connect the power and we're going to start this laptop one more time to see what happens. So I'm going to press the power button and we wait. The screen is still black and it's still it's still making the sound. So what we have to do now, I'm going to disconnect the power one more time and I'm going to press the power button for about 10 seconds. I do this to get rid of the power stored in the capacitors on the motherboard, and I'm going to uh, do it again. I connect it to the power, and I'm going to press the power button. So we wait for a few seconds. We're still waiting. And now we can see a response on the screen. So we see the, the logo and, and start pressing F2 to access the BIOS, which honestly, I don't know what, why, why I did that. Uh, but we don't need to get access to the BIOS. So I'm going to press escape and we're going to leave the BIOS. Uh, we didn't do any change, so it doesn't make a difference. And you can see the Dell, uh, the, Dell the Windows 10 logo. So it's uh, the letters uh, on the screen says that it's running a check on the hard drive. So we're going to wait that to finish. And then the computer is going to shut down itself and it's going to restart. We see the Dell logo. We're going to see the Windows uh, logo as well, and everything is working back. So that's all I wanted to show you for this video, for this really short video, guys. Um, uh, the reason why the five beeps are are playing on your on your laptop, on your Dell laptop, and a way to fix it, which is replacing the normally is replacing the the CMOS battery, right? 
So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And if this is your first time in the channel, please look around. Maybe you are going to find a video that is useful to you. So thank you very much again, and I'll see you in the next video.